today, Governor Sarah Sanders unveiled her long-awaited education reform bill for Arkansas. 4029's Brett Rains was at the Capitol as the governor gave more details into what she's hoping to change. We can't see the bill just yet because it's still being written. Today, Governor Sanders put teachers at the top of the list, saying her plan increases minimum teacher salaries to $50,000 a year, which is something Democrats we talked to say they agree with. Instead of being 48th in the nation for starting teacher salary, we will now be in the top five. Republican legislators lined the steps outside the House as Governor Sarah Sanders announced her plans for education reform. She says student loan forgiveness will be available for teachers who are willing to teach in the areas of highest need in the state, as well as up to $10,000 bonuses for teachers who are improving student outcomes. We want Arkansas to be at the top, and this allows us to do that. We also want to really focus on rewarding the hardworking teachers who are delivering for our students. We do agree on that, but we still disagree with that subject being put in an omnibus bill where there are things that we vehemently disagree with. House Minority Leader Tippy McCullough says one big disagreement with the governor's plan is school choice. Our new education freedom account allows parents to enroll their kids in whatever school is most appropriate for their family, whether it be public, private, parochial or homeschool. We're rolling out this program for our most at risk families first and within three years it'll be available to every family in Arkansas. If the money goes to the student and the, the money follows the student, could be to private school, charter schools, could be all kinds of places. It's just a could be a systematic breaking down and tearing apart of the public school system with the vouchers. Governor Sanders says education reforms also include adding 120 reading coaches to schools that need the most help, as well as $500 tutoring grants for students who are not meeting literacy standards in grades K through three. She says high schools will also offer new dual diploma programs focused on future careers for students instead of higher education. The state secretary of education says they're still working out some of the details of the bill. Right now, there's no word on when it will be filed and taken up by legislators. Tonight at 6, just how much the education reform proposals could cost taxpayers. In Little Rock, Brett Rains, 4029 News. All right, Brett, thanks for that report. And the school choice issue is a hot topic. 4029's Paul Petit spoke to advocates and opponents about it. The school choice components of Governor Sanders' education plan comes with some very differing viewpoints. But what really jumped out at me is this seeming determination to gut public education with these cancerous voucher schemes. Everything that's in the plan is focused on students. Um, it's a brand new day in Arkansas for K-12. Lori Lee is the chairman of the Reform Alliance, which advocates for school choice. The fact that she's going to have an ESA, I think she called it a educational freedom account, uh, that will allow every parent to decide uh, what model of education that their student uses. It's still to be determined how those funds will be allocated, but under the plan, that account can be used towards private, parochial, and home schools. But really, it's about taking public dollars and sending them to private entities, uh, and you're pulling in critical resources away from public schools uh, that are already, in a lot of ways, strapped for resources. I think and have thought for, you know, the almost two decades I've been uh, advocating for this, um, that that is the key to a lot of the ailments that our educational system has. I mean, we, we've had one system for so long for so many uh, that it's impossible to uh, serve all those children. Governor Sanders' campaign talking about school choice. There's agreement that Arkansas students deserve the best education, but how it's delivered is hotly contested. This plan clearly uh, is innovative and allows for more innovation so that our students can find where they fit best. We believe the best way to do that is to invest more and invest, invest smartly in public education rather than divert public dollars to private entities. Paul Petit, 4029 News. All right, continuing your commitment coverage, we'll take a look at the bills that have been sent to the governor's desk in the last 24 hours. House Bill 1004 amends the Sex Offender Registration Act of 1997. It requires sex offenders to register their physical addresses to include the house or apartment number. House Bill 1150 amends the time period to register your motor vehicle from paper buyer tags from 30 days to 60 days. And then Senate Bill 47, which repeals the law prohibiting leaving a vehicle 
running unattended.